Welcome to another Dan and Kathy's Missionary Adventures. In our last video, we gave you a biblical perspective on the coronavirus, and we just want to continue in that vein today, and I think in some future videos as well as we weather this storm together with our Lord Jesus. In the last video, we encourage you to begin meditating daily on Psalm 91. I can't think of a better chapter in the Bible that capsulates God's provision and protection for us during very difficult times. So again, we encourage you to read Psalm 91 to begin to commit it to memory. And also as you pray through this Psalm daily to, to take it slowly and, and do it prayerfully, um, claiming these promises so that you can stand on this and have confidence in the Word of God and God's provision and protection for your life and for your family during this time. I want to point you again to the end of the psalm, verses 14 through 16, that says this. It's very interesting because it goes into a condition. It says, because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. So it starts off with a condition that is on our part of responsibility. And our responsibility is to love God. Now, Jesus defined loving him as loving him with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. So, so to love God is not just a, a frivolous, yeah, I love God, God's cool, but it's a but it's an it's an inner conviction of a of a sold out human being that is consumed with love and passion for Jesus. So we love him, and it says also that we need to acknowledge his name. Now that's an interesting word because to acknowledge means to know as true. It means to trust in and to delight in. So first of all, God says. To you, if you love me with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and if you acknowledge me, if you know me as true, if you trust in me, if you delight in me, then God says, this is what's going to come back to you. He says, I will rescue you. I will protect you. I will answer you when you call out to me. I will be with you in trouble. I will deliver you and honor you. I will give you long life. I will satisfy you, and I will show you my salvation. Wow. When I read that again today, it just, it never ceases to amaze me at the goodness of God and what God wants to do for us when we totally surrender our lives to him. It's really an amazing exchange. We come to him with, the Bible says, with righteousness that is like filthy rags. Our lives stink before the Lord. And he says, hey, give me your old ratty clothes and I'll give you a garment of praise. I'll give you a royal, a royal garment, a royal robe to wear. What an exchange. We give him our, our loss and he gives us his victory. So I encourage you to do that today if you haven't exchanged your life, if you haven't surrendered your life to Jesus. You know, I... I I found out the other day that the phrase, fear not, those two words, fear not, together, are mentioned in the Bible 95 times. There's 72 times in the Old Testament and 23 times in the New Testament. And it's interesting because the phrase, fear not, is a command. And that means that he, that God has given you, since it is a command, God has given you the grace and the anointing as a lover of Jesus, to walk in faith, fully trusting God to do what he said he would do. In 1 John chapter 4, verses 16 through 18, in the New Living Translation, it says this, We know how much God loves us, and we have put our trust in his love. God is love, and all who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. And as we live in God, our love grows more perfect. 
And so we will not be afraid on the day of judgment, but we can face him with confidence because we live like Jesus here in this world. Such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is because we are afraid of punishment. And this shows that we have not fully experienced the love of God. So what I want to do with you today, right now, is together we're going to show fear the door. We've invited him in. Now it's time to send him packing. Okay? So would you pray with me? Just a simple prayer. But it's a prayer of deliverance from fear. Would you pray with me right now? Heavenly Father. That's right. Heavenly Father, I repent of embracing the spirit of fear. I renounce my agreement with the spirit of fear. And I break its hold over my life and my family in the name of Jesus. And I place my full trust in you. Fill me with your amazing love. Amen. And now in closing, I just want to speak a blessing over you that is taken from Ephesians chapter 3, verses 17 through 19. It's one of Paul's apostolic prayers. And I'm going to declare this over you. So you just receive this as a blessing from the Lord. It says, I declare that you are rooted and established in love. And that you have the power together with all the followers of Jesus around the world to grasp how wide and long, how high and deep is the love of Christ for you. And that you will know this love that surpasses human understanding. This extravagant love that is pouring into you right now until you are filled and overflowing with all the fullness of God. Amen. So, I encourage you to share this good news, this message that perfect love casts out fear. Share that message. Share the message of Psalm 91 with somebody who needs it today, and I'm sure you know of many people. Also, feel free, feel free to share these videos on social media on any platform you choose. We just want to encourage people to get close to Jesus during, especially during this time of pandemic. Subscribe and uh, click to our YouTube channel down below. Just uh, hit the subscribe button and then there's a little bell. Click the bell and you can, uh, so you get notified every time we do another video. Thank you again for joining us on another missionary adventure as we take you around the world, reminding you that it's worth it serving Jesus. Amen. Bye-bye.